before you guys touch your lineups, you will have to listen to us first. That is an order, right? Absolutely. Listen to him. I'm the devil. Welcome to Fantasy Move Makers. Glad to have you. Lauren Shahadi alongside Eric Mack. Who is being traded, Emac? I want to look at your list, and when I look at your list, I see Jake Peavy. Right. Where he had the shortest outing of his career against the Phillies. He was sick, though. Yeah, it's, break, just, right? it's just an illness. He'll be back. He, he's going to be fine, maybe even this weekend or as a two-star pitcher next week. But there's another ace that's struggling right now in the National League. He also might be traded. Roy Oswalt, um, there's a lot of rumors that the uh, Houston Astros might be selling him. And then a, a, a struggling ace right below him on the most traded list, Francisco Lir Liriano, struggling with lowered velocity. Um, he's a dangerous guy to trade because you're selling low. There still can be a hot streak in him. Um, and then Jake Peavy, obviously, I think he's going to get hot, especially if he gets traded to a contender. With Lariano, it's an tr issue of trust. You've got to trust him. That well, is you the can't trust exactly. him Exactly. That's the tough part. All right. Also on that list, Vlad Guerrero. I want to know when's he going to start hitting bombs out of the park all the yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know Vladimir you guys want to know that, too. Vlad a struggling veteran right now coming off the DL. Really hasn't hit stride, especially in the power department. Just five RBI, and in, in we're, we're already in June. You didn't expect that from your early to mid-round pick. But Vladimir Guerrero is slugging for a contract. He's going to get hot. He's someone that you can hold. Uh, maybe not start in a mixed league, but... Hold on, because he's going to get hot at some point. Okay, let's talk about the already hot. Let's get to the good stuff. Levon Hernandez, you guys are loving him. Right. Uh, do you have enough confidence in him? When you look at last year's numbers, Emac, it's hard to a little bit. Yeah, Levon Hernandez, though, won 13 games for sub uh, subpar teams. He's now on a team with the Mets that can score a lot of runs for him. He had a couple hot starts, and then he went into this two-star week in Fantasy Week 9. That's why he was on this most added list. Luke Scott is just scorching right now. Clayton Richard, he didn't get traded in that Jake Peavy deal, and now he's hot. And then you got Gary Sheffield swinging away with all those Mets out of the lineup. They have been slotting Sheffield every day in their lineup. And then you got Jason Marquis, who's got seven wins. Surprising, might even be the Rockies' all-star representative. Okay, so you want to know who's hot, but you also want to know who's drops. You can make adjustments accordingly. And Fausto Carmona, uh, Dontra Willis, these guys are just too erratic. You don't, you're not trusting them at yeah, this point. Yeah, you got to look at this list right here. Look at their strikeout to walk ratio. You can't like that out of any fantasy starter you have on your team. Um, these are guys that are struggling with their command right now. Um, I think in the second half they can fix that command, but I wouldn't trust these guys in a mixed league. I might even cut them in a mixed league. These guys probably don't belong in your roster. Okay, you might cut him. What do you do with Juan Cruz? Because he was the Royals' closer, but no more. Where do you right. put him? Right. Joaquin Soria is back off the DL. He's the lockdown closer for the Royals. So Juan Cruz is nothing more than a middle reliever, but he's a useful middle reliever in rotisserie leagues. And then more on this dropped list, Brett Myers probably out for the season. That uh, hip injury, um, you know, it's a hip surgery right now, a hip injury to have. A lot of people have gone down with that. Um, you see Dontrell Willis, you see Mike Napoli, the Angels got Vladimir Guerrero back like we said, so Mike Napoli is not getting at bats at DH, so he's got a share time at catcher with Jeff Mathis, and then Ricky Romero, Matt Palmer's out of the rotation, Ricky Romero's struggling, those guys are uh, good okay. drops. All right, we'll make note of those most dropped players. Thank you, Emac, and thank you for watching. Make your adjustments accordingly for Eric Mack and Lauren Shahadi.